What is up, Zero Gang? My name is Cesar Zero Vlogs, and today I got a hilariously hysterical video for you guys, okay? Now, you guys know, since the beginning of times, right? Since this whole BLM thing just started, right? They've been trying to defund the police, right? Defund the police, we don't like the police, they white. We don't like them, get them out of here. They have guns, we feel unsafe, right? All this stuff, right, about police. And doesn't matter about the race, right? It's a, this is a blue state. They've been trying to defund the police for the longest, right? So it seems like they pretty much got their wish overall, right? And now here's the irony, here's the best part. There is a group called Minneapolis 8 or Minnesota 8. I have the video right here, we're about to watch it, so they're gonna correct me if I'm wrong, but they are now suing Minneapolis because the crime rates are high because there's no police. Boom, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Like, what do you think was gonna happen? People break into my home, chaos is a brewing, chaos is coming, chaos is consuming me because there's no police. I thought you were so tough. I got my guns, I got this, I can handle my stuff. You watch those old videos, there's a bunch of just a bunch of black people. I don't need no cops, I got my guns, bring them. There's somebody want mess for me and mine, trust me, I'm gonna take care of them. Now you're not taking care of them, what's happening now? Now they're suing. I, I love this so much. Because this is exactly what everyone was saying. What do you think is going to happen? If there's no one to uphold the law, and there's no rules, humans act just like animals. The only reason humans don't act like animals is because we're forced not to. I promise you, take all the laws off, people are going to be acting just like dogs, taking dunks in the grass, people, people are already twerking on police cars and police cruisers. They're already doing that, right? If animals understood twerking, I promise you. I could easily see like a Pomeranian twerking on a police cruiser, taking little dunks on the police cruiser. I promise you, I could easily see that. The difference is they don't understand what twerking is. Even then, I've seen some dogs twerk. If you guys know who Major Laser is, his dog twerks. His dog actually know what twerking is. Probably because it's his girl be twerking, you know what I mean. But I promise you, it would be no difference, all right? So we're gonna watch this video and they're gonna give us all the juicy details on why they're actually being sued now. Minnesota is being sued now, or some, you know, group, Minneapolis, whatever the city, is being sued now because there isn't enough police and the crime rates are at an all time high. I get never would have guessed. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment. Help me get my video out there in this jungle that we call YouTube. Without further ado, let's get into this video. Have any spit been flying into the screen? I'm just excited, all right? It's excited spit flying through the screen, all right? Let's get into this video, man. In Minneapolis are claiming victory today. That's after a judge orders the city to keep the number of police officers at a level required in the city charter. Yeah. A group known as the Minneapolis Eight sued okay, the city, it, right? citing high levels of violent crime and a lack of police officers. What? The group says the gun violence, carjackings, and break-ins impact their daily lives. You don't say. Rich Chapman has more on what residents Who hope thought? for next. Who would have thought? These neighbors say the both and approach to policing in Minneapolis has won the fight in court. A judge ruled the city must keep the number of police officers at a level required in the city charter. We have to work together. Oh. That's what this is about. Us Why working F12? together to build this city back. Yeah. Kathy Spann is part of no the Minneapolis better. 8, a group of neighbors who sued the city because they felt there was not enough police on the street to protect them from a surge of crime that impacts poor and minority hold neighborhoods. Up. Hold up, hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Protect you from who? Who lives in those areas? Protect you from who? Who do you need protection from? Do they have melanin in their skin? Do they have pigmentation in their skin? Do they look like a little bit of the George Floyd? Ooh. You need protection now. Now you want the police to help you. Now you need protection. Oh, okay. Well, I thought that would be the R word. You know, I thought that's what that was. When a person looks suspicious, don't judge his book by his cover. What happened to that? What happened to that? That's just wee out the window. <laughs> Y'all. I'm enjoying this too much. I'm enjoying this too much, bro. I'm enjoying this too much because I've been seeing this for the longest. Like, what do you think is going to happen? And it's finally happened. Oh, the car jacking is in the breaking ins and the act like Bill Cosby. All oh, the breaking ins and the car jacking is what we're gonna do. 
from your own people, bro. From your own people. That's why I don't live out there. People be like, you just wanna be around some white people. No, I wanna be around some civilized people. That's why I wanna be around. Let's, let's watch the rest of the video. Courts have decided that yes, we have been harmed. That we, in By fact, who? have been impacted. By that who? our lives are in danger. By who? The judge heard By that who? there are bullets coming through our homes, By through who? our cars, and through our children. By they who? say it's not all about By who? police officers. It's all about <laughs> a sufficient amount of police. Because if we think about the city of well, Minneapolis being 400,000 plus people, the city of Minneapolis, and we have only 660 officers, do the math. The judgment the says the mayor and city Wait, council shall immediately take any and all necessary action to make sure they fund a police force of at least 730 as called for by the city charter. So while I can't comment specifically with regard to the lawsuit, my position on this topic has remained consistent and steadfast, which is that we in the city of Minneapolis need a both end approach. Uh, I have always opposed these efforts to defund and or abolish uh, the police the minneapolis eight does not he's like what do you want with the black lives matter movement <laughs> because both want police accountability and reform we what have to stop me? the hemorrhaging <laughs> and yes. we do that in partnership with the police yes not by abolishing yeah. them yeah. reg chapman wcco oh my god no word yet on what city Amazing. officials what will work out to make good on the judge's decision. Mayor Fry says he continues to work with Chief Arredondo <laughs> to deal with attrition of officers by bringing additional recruiting. All right, guys, I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts. But that's hilarious, man. He's like, I've been trying to abolish the police, and now you guys want them back. That much work. Not harder is trying to abolish the police. That's how he's acting. You know, he's like, oh, white neck and shit. I'm trying to abolish the police, and now you guys want them back. Well, what you want me to do? <laughs> he was like, what's wrong with you guys? I'm giving you exactly what you want. Oh my God, bro. Oh man, this made my day. That's hilarious. He was like, I've been trying to abolish the police. What do you guys want from me? Yo, I told you this was exactly what was going to happen. And now they're like, we got to work with the police, not abolish the police. I bet you she was the same person skin out there. Doing all that stuff, right? Oh, whatever they be seeing, man. They be chanting something like that. But I promise you, if she was out there doing that, and now is we need them. I bet you do. Because your own people doing a little pew, 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 I don't know the last one, so that's not like a cat. But the point is, I enjoy this too much. Now, do I want people to get hurt? Absolutely not. But I do feel that exactly what's happening is so deserved because everyone said that's what's gonna happen everyone said that's exactly what's gonna happen i don't gotta deal with it i don't live out there <laughs> i don't well, i don't live out there i don't gotta deal with it it don't hurt me and it don't hurt anyone else who's smart enough not to live out there so i just thought this would be a funny video for you guys um you know like i said i don't want anyone to get hurt but i um i do feel like this is very deserved for the people the majority of the people that live in minneapolis wanted this and they got this and this is what you get now for anyone that's actually getting hurt or you know they didn't want this i i guess i'm sorry that this is happening to you but i hope you guys can see the bigger picture on why i feel this is so deserved and why i enjoy this so much because this is exactly what we said was going to happen and finally it finally happened so if you guys are new to this channel make sure you guys subscribe and comment let me get my video out there in this jungle that we call youtube without further ado that's going to be it for the video and my name is Casper Zero Vlogs, and remember, I'm not arrogant, I'm just confident, and thank you for watching.